Hello, Sandra Pollock here from Open Mind Coaching. How are you doing? I hope that the last couple of days have been great for you and that you are ready. It's a new day, a new week and a new opportunity for you to achieve the greatness that is within you. You know, I've been watching um, a series called um, Once Upon a Time. I don't know if you've heard of it. But it's all about magic and fairy tales and stuff like that. And okay, I admit, I love that sort of thing. But for me, although I enjoy the um, the show or the series, the downside for me is that just when you think that everything is sorted and settled and they've, they've dealt with everything, they can take a breath and have a really good life, something else pops up for them to, or someone else pops up for them to have to deal with. And that made me reflect upon life. And the fact that life changes all the time. So how do we deal with that? Um, and from what I know, you know, when there's a situation that you come across that you you can't avoid and you can't do anything about it, then the only other option is to see how you can learn to deal with it. You might not like it, you might not be happy about it, but it may be something that you have to learn to deal with. And this is change in life. The only constant is change and we can't as human beings stop change happening and I believe because the reason for changes in our life is all about how we grow and how we learn, how we allow what is within us to blossom and to be able to appreciate it, to live with it, to use it, to make the best of it. So in order for that to happen, change needs to happen so that's my view about why change happens one of the reasons so that we can grow and we can learn so how do you deal with change if you don't like it um for very few people like change i mean i'm i'm someone that i love change but even i get tired with change sometimes so how do we learn to deal with it so i have a couple tips to uh, three tips to um, share with you which i hope you will find helpful the first one may seem pretty obvious, but it's accept it. So number one is accept that change is going to happen. We can't change it. We can't stop it. So we have to get to the point in our heads and our minds where we make a decision that change is a part of life and we are going to learn how to deal with it. We're going to accept it. So that's point number one. Point number two is to learn from it. Okay, if change is happening, what do I need to learn from the change? How can I use this change to my best um, efforts for, to help me to be the best that I can be? And what I've learned from life as well is that, as I said, each change is bringing you something to learn. And if you don't learn from that lesson, you will find yourself almost going around in a circle, finding yourself right back there to learn that lesson again it may be a slightly different situation maybe different people and um, different circumstance but the lesson that you need to learn will be there you'll find yourself in a similar situation so learn from the change what do i need to take from this how do i need to use it and to learn from it and point number three is take time to enjoy the moment there was a saying, you know, people say live in the moment. What does that mean? That means take a moment to breathe and accept that you are in a unique place. This is a different time. You will not find this, mo this moment, this minute. Again, it is unique. So breathe it, feel it, touch it, smell it, taste it. What's happening to you now? Take a moment and take a deep breath and enjoy the experience. It may be difficult, but if we're looking at what we can learn and we're accepting we can't change change, then we can get some experience, some learning, some benefit, and we can engage our senses so that we learn on a real emotional, mental and physical way. So change is about your growth, my growth, everybody's growth, and about our learning so that all the gems of our amazingness that is inside, we can learn to let that come out step by step, day by day, moment by moment. So I hope that you enjoyed that and it is useful to you. So remember, change is actually your friend. It's just how you learn to deal with it. Have a great week. I hope that 
you come back and share your thoughts um, about the things that I, that I share with you as I'm thinking about life and, and moving forward myself. Have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Sandra Pollock from Overmind Coaching saying thank you, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.